Hey, good morning, everyone. So uh, today is the day that we summit Mount Washington. And thankfully, it is a gorgeous clear day. So we should have some amazing views. I'm very excited for that. The uh, evening was very nice. We stayed kind of near one of the huts. Uh, we did not stay in the hut, uh, but we stayed at a tent site next door. So it was nice that we actually had a nice place to sit, nice warm place to sit and eat dinner and breakfast this morning inside the hut. And uh, we got out pretty early today. Proud of us. Uh, we've got, I think like 14-ish, 14 or 15 miles today, because we got to get up and over Washington and we got to get back below tree line before we can camp. So there's a tent site uh, that is right past the tree line that we intend to stay at. So it's going to be a big day, a lot of elevation. I think like five or 6,000 feet elevation. So what's up, man? Sorry about that. Ended up running into uh, someone that was hiking around. But uh, yeah, so I think uh, 14, 15 miles today. And uh, it should be nice, sunny, clear day. Looking forward to it. There it is, Mount Washington. We still got like 2,000, 3,000 feet of elevation. But we'll get there. We'll get there in a few hours. It has been an absolutely incredible day so far. Views up here are amazing. We're uh, getting very close to the Lake of the Clouds hut which is right at the base of Mount Washington, and it's just a straight climb up. I am looking forward to this. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Beautiful day. Could not have asked for better weather. Very, very lucky. It's a little bit further. This is the type of rocks that uh, cover the entire presidential traverse. It's very difficult, very slow moving, but you get these incredible views along the way. This trail's been no joke. Oh, it's rocks like this the entire way. We've been going at this for miles and miles and miles now. It's so slow, it's dangerous and steep. It's tough. One last summit to end the day. Got about two and a half more miles straight down to get to our tent site. Whew, what a day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely exhausted. This has been a lot of elevation, a lot of miles today over rock. That was not easy to navigate over. Hey, good morning, everyone. So uh, today should just be a quick, easy day. We're going doing five miles into town and weather's supposed to be really bad for the next day or two, so we may end up doing a zero. The climb that is coming up is extremely steep, extremely rocky, so I've heard it's not a good one to do uh, on a rainy day, so we may end up holding, waiting out for a bit. Uh, yesterday was awesome, beautiful day up Mount Washington. Uh, it was very crowded up top. The descent the down, very difficult through the presidentials. Lots and lots of rocks uh, to navigate around. And then we had one last summit late in the evening and that downhill was intense. I mean, uh, only way to describe it. One of the most difficult sections of trail so far on the entire AT. And uh, thankfully no one got injured, no one got hurt going down. We were trying to beat the clock with the sun going down, but uh, yeah, never again. That was. That was difficult, but again, it's been fun. It's a beautiful area. Love the White Mountains, but they are tough. No joke.
Hey, good morning, everyone. So uh, back on trail after taking two zeros. <laughs> that was very unexpected, but uh, we had some pretty bad weather yesterday and the day before. And the section we were about to do is actually the steepest section on the entire AT. It's the Wildcats here in the White Mountains. And so we felt that it would be one uh, for safety and, and uh, of, of, you know, just hiking up and down over the mountains. It'd be smart to, to wait the extra day, but then also you don't get any views when it's all cloudy. So the purpose of this hike is obviously to get to Katahdin, but you might as well enjoy it along the way as well. So went ahead and stayed two nights in town in Gorham. And we are now back on trail. We're gonna try to go, I think about 12 or 13 miles. I believe the name of the campsite is called Imp Campsite. And uh, from there, we'll actually go another like 10 miles and get back into the Gorham. Something kind of crazy. Uh, I did say kind of a look ahead for the last couple hundred miles. And we only have like three more places that we're gonna resupply at, which I think is nuts that we basically just have three small sections. I say small, they're pretty large sections, but, and difficult sections, but, it's just wild that we're getting so close to the end. Getting very excited for it though. Yeah, this is really steep. Whew. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everyone. So I am currently road walking uh, 0.4 miles back to a water source. I volunteered to go get water for the group this morning. Uh, I was up a little early, so might as well. Today, we are going to be going like 15, 16 miles, but the cool thing is two major milestones. First is mile number 1900, but even bigger and better and more awesome than that, we are officially going to be crossing into Maine. We have officially gone from Georgia to Maine. We still got 200 miles to Katahdin, but 250. But we are in Maine. What is up? That is so cool. And I'm really, really excited for that. Cannot wait to be across from New Hampshire and into Maine. We are gonna be done with the whites officially in like three or four miles. It's amazing now. I can't believe I've done it, made it from Georgia to Maine. So very excited for that. All right, check it out. Mile number 1900, We've got less than 300 to go. So pumped, this has been tough. So today's been a tough day, I don't know why, I'm just not in the mood to hike. Uh, it's been a lot of elevation so far, difficult trail. Uh, I think I, I didn't eat enough yesterday maybe. Just not feeling good, didn't get a good night's sleep. So yeah, I'm only going like maybe 10-ish miles today. I'm gonna set up camp. My group's probably about five miles ahead. I did cross over the 1900 mile mark, but the main border is gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Unfortunately, especially at this point of the day. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just have those days. It's tough. Today was just difficult. It's a lot of elevation. It's just, yeah, I'm just, no energy. My legs don't have any strength. They are toothpicks now from all the weight I've lost. But I did eat a ton of food today. I'm gonna eat a ton more. Try to make my pack a little lighter for tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, you know, hopefully tomorrow will be a good day. Make up some miles, get in bed early. Get out early, try to meet up with my group at some point. All right, I'm like point one away from the shelter. Very excited to be done with the day. This is one of those days, very, very tough. Uh, the trail is just filled with mud. When I say filled with mud, I mean it's mud that like, if you step in, will go two feet up. I mean your whole, your your knees will be soaked. Your knees will be in mud. 
So that was tough. I'm ready for today to be done. I think I only did like 10 miles. It wasn't even all that much, but it took me all day to do. My feet are sore. I need new shoes. Ready to be done. New Hampshire. I'm ready to be done with Southern Maine. Whew. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Hey, good morning, everyone. So yesterday was a very difficult day. I think it just had to do with me not eating enough calories and taking in enough water the day before. And so yesterday I was really not feeling it. I had very low energy levels and there was a ton of elevation we had to do. So it's just a combination of a lot of things. Thankfully my trail group did not make it much further than I did yesterday. So they're only maybe two or three miles ahead at this point. Um, today, we will for sure be crossing into Maine because it's only like five miles away. And uh, it should be a nice day. There's also going to be the summiting a mountain called Mount Success, where there is a downed airplane. So I'm going to try to find that. Apparently just the fuselage is still there, but that's going to be kind of cool to, to see and to kind of walk through. So uh, that will be up on the docket for today. And uh, yeah, I think the plan is to try to maybe just do 10 or 12 miles. That's going to get me right before Mahusik Notch, which for y'all who are not familiar with that, that is the most difficult mile on the entire Appalachian Trail. So it's going to be a difficult little time to get through there. I talked to some folks, they said it took them about two hours to go to one mile. So that's going to take some time for sure. But uh, should be kind of fun to finally have that over. I think we've only got a handful more miles of very difficult terrain. They say Southern Maine is very, very difficult. So hopefully it's only like maybe another 50-ish miles. We'll see though. It's been an exhausting stretch. This is definitely, I understand how and why people can quit in Southern Maine. You think, man, you're so close, only 200 more miles. This is the most difficult section of trail for sure. So hoping that uh, this elevation stuff ends soon because it has not been fun. <laughs> Check this out. This is all the wreckage from the 1950s. Here is what appears to be the wing. It's pretty wild. This is the uh, top of Mount Success. All right, so I am descending down Mount Success. It's really interesting. So there was a plane crash there in the 50s, right off the summit there. And uh, I believe it was Northeast Airlines, but ended up crashing due to fog. There were seven individuals that were on board. Four were the crew members, three passengers. They all actually survived the initial crash, which is incredible when you see the wreckage there. But uh, unfortunately, I believe two of them ended up passing away shortly after from their injuries but really interesting, I guess, too much effort and cost to try to bring the fuselage and the parts down, but really cool kind of little side trail, only maybe like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 off from the Appalachian Trail, but very cool, very interesting. If you're in the area, definitely check that out. Finally made it, feels so good. <laughs> this is always fun, the little rebar ladders. <laughs> Boy, Steve. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everyone. So yesterday was a beautiful day of hiking. We had some really awesome views, really enjoyed it. Uh, I, we only went like nine or 10 miles though. It is very, very slow hiking here in Southern Maine. Did cross over the border, which is awesome. And today only got about another 10 miles, nine and a half, I believe. And we will be doing Mahusik Notch. It is like in a mile from now. Here that it's very intense, takes about an hour to an hour and a half to get over and done with. So single mile going over an hour, that's pretty intense. Ideally, I will be able to get into Bethel, I'll be able to pick up new shoes, which I desperately need now. And also I'll be picking up a new stove. My other stove had broken, so I've been cold soaking for a while, but 
yeah, should be a nice day, beautiful weather, great hiking weather, so. All right, here starts the Mahusik Notch. This is the most difficult mile on the entire AT, they say. All right, this might be a little tricky. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse from here. <laughs> yep. Gotta squeeze in through these rocks now. All right, that's it. Done with the notch. Took one hour and 23 minutes. I will say it is very dangerous at many spots. Definitely some technical footwork, upper body strength is needed. Would not want to do that in bad weather, but glad to have the toughest mile done of the entire AT. And now it's only a couple miles into town, into Bethel. Need to go pick up my package and get back on trail. Let's do this. I am so sick and tired of these giant climbs at these boulder fields. They just never stop. Every single mountain. I mean, we're doing 50 of these a day. They just never end. It is so frustrating. Ugh. So I just need to complain for a bit. This trail is so difficult up here. Maine is so slow. It's taking me like eight hours to go 10 miles. It's ridiculous. I'm going barely one mile an hour and I'm pushing. I haven't stopped at all. I stopped for a very quick, short lunch break. And that's it. It's just, it's just straight up and it's climbs and it's boulders and it's just, oh, it's terrible. It's, I mean, it's nice, it's fun, but and you get pretty views, but this is, uh, this is tough. I, it, this better get easier. This 280 some miles left. This is, this is gonna take a long time to get through. All right, I'm finally showing up to the Grafton Notch Trailhead. Boy, today has been a tough, tough day. I'm really hoping I can find a hitch pretty quick to get into town. It is a long hitch. So we'll see. I may end up be spending the night at the trailhead trying to get in the morning. We'll, we'll see what happens. No cell phone service either, so I can't call a shuttle. Oh, today's just been one of those days. But tomorrow will be a better day. I already know it.